हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम एकता मिश्रा फैकल्टी ऑफ साइंस फ्रॉम श्री रावतपुरा सरकार यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द जियोलाइट प्रोसेस इट इज़ वन ऑफ द वाटर सॉफ्टनिंग प्रोसेस यूज्ड इन इंडस्ट्रीज नाउ द कंटेंट्स हियर आर व्हाट आर जियोलाइट टाइप्स ऑफ जियोलाइट इट्स प्रोसेस रिएक्शंस रीजनरेशन limitations of process advantages of process and the disadvantages of process now what is zeolite zeolites is hydrated sodium aluminum silicate they are also known as known as permitted that's why this process is also called as permitted process zeolites are capable of exchanging reversibly its sodium ions for hardness producing ions in water its chemical structure is na2o al2o3 x sio2 by h2o where the value of x varies from 2 to 10 and the value of y varies from 2 to 6 now types of zeolite there are mainly two types of zeolite first is natural zeolite and the second one is synthetic zeolite now what is natural zeolite natural zeolites are non porous for example natrolite and the synthetic zeolites are porous they are prepared by heating together china clay feldspar and soda ash such zeolites possess higher exchange capacity per unit weight than natural zeolites that's why it is used in the industries now the process of zeolite for softening of water by zeolite process hard water is percolated at a specific rate through a bed of zeolite kept in a cylinder the hardness causing ions are retained by the zeolite as calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite while the outgoing water contains sodium salts as you seen here in the diagram the hard water inlet present in the upside of the cylinder is used to supply hard water when this hard water is sprayed through the zeolite bed and gravel the hardness causing ions mainly calcium and magnesium get trapped into the zeolite bed and it forms calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite while the salts are removed to the sink and the soft water comes from the soft water outlet while the left hand in the left hand side there is a nacl solution or a brine solution which is used for regeneration i explain you the process of regeneration further in the next slide now we see the reactions now you can see here that the sodium zeolite bed is present there when we supply the hard water the calcium bicarbonate get trapped into the zeolite bed and it converts into calcium zeolite or magnesium zeolite while the sodium bicarbonate removes out through the sink and the water means soft water comes out from the soft water outlet now regeneration after some time the zeolite is completely converted into calcium and magnesium zeolite and it ceases ceases to soften water that is it gets exhausted at this stage the supply of hard water is stopped and the exhausted zeolite is reclaimed by treating the bed with a concentrated brine solution means 10% nacl solution as is seen here now the washings are led to drain and the regenerated zeolite bed thus obtained is used again for softening process now the limitations if the supplied water is turbid the suspended matter must be removed before the water is fed to the zeolite bed otherwise the pores of the zeolite bed will clogged by the turbidity there by making it inactive now 
if the mineral is present in water it destroyed the zeolite bed and hence they must be neutralized now advantages of this process through this process the hardness removes completely and water of about 10 ppm hardness is produced equipment used is compact occupying a small space no impurities are precipitated so there is no danger of sludge formation it is quite clean and requires less time for softening it requires less skill for maintenance as well as operation now disadvantages of process the treated water contains more sodium salts than in lime soda process the method only replaces calcium and magnesium ions turbidity of water cannot be treated efficiently by this methods because fine impurities get deposited on zeolite bed thank you